Hello Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin Guys So 57 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to use Flex Layout inside our Xamarin Forms application. This Flex Layout I have designed for FIFA World Cup 2018 as France vs Belgium. So in order to create such type of Flex Layout, we will just go to our Visual Studio ID for Mac. You can choose Visual Studio ID for Windows also. So let us start from our code behind app.xaml as main page is equals to new main page that is main page is going to start from here and here the app.xaml is a universal resource locator where we are going to define our resources over here that is our application will be using all the resources from here that is it may be color or custom fonts you can see over here for each platform here we are defining font size along with styles you can see over here this profile name label style will be called by each label you can see over here as target type is equals to label denotes that the label is going to use this property here i have listed uh, different type of properties you can use any of them so let us go towards our main page dot xaml ios 11 has introduced a few new visual design updates that you may want to take advantage of using safe area layout guidelines and large titles so to ensure your content appears in a visible area of the device screen especially to avoid the notch when running landscape on a iphone x you will need to take advantage of the safe area layout guidelines that ios 11 has defined here inside our content page i am defining some resources styles you can see over here for frames levels along with that header level image button for our frame you can see over here i have already defined my resources inside app.xaml you can define all these resources inside that app.xaml also so in order to make my coding uh, less complex that's why i am defining over here this is my scroll view where i am placing my flex layout you can see over here this is my flex layout where I am giving a frame wide request of 300 and height request of 550. You can see over here image source as HTTP request. You can use local images also using embedded properties. This is my flex layout where I am giving frame wide request as 300 as well as height request as 550. You can play with those values and then our flex layout direction along with column so that I could place my images along with labels this is my label and then this is my image flex layout blue as one and then here I am going to place three columns you can see over here of white infinite and then you can let us go to our application then you can see Facebook Google as well as Twitter is given our three images where I'll be placing along with the columns each grid column will contain images as grid column 0, 1 and 2 this is my grid column 0 which will contain Facebook circle and then this is my grid column 1 which will contain Google circle and then this is my grid column 2 which will contain my Twitter circle that's all with our flex layout now we'll be implementing next frame of white request 300 as well as height request of 550 you can place any value for that and play with it you can see over here and i'll be implementing second frame and same repeated steps as well as course and this is my third frame that i'll be implementing inside our project i'll scroll it so that you can have better view scroll it horizontal way that's all inside our project we are implementing three frames inside flex layout you can see over here and implementing some images uh, you can use some dynamic image for that also using binding properties now let us run and compile our project let us start our project this is my simulator 
let us wait for some time okay we got our expected output that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials